Look at me, I'm a douchebag with turquoise wheels. Yay! Douchebag. Good day and how you going, TAC Nation? Once again, this is TAC Moto coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, good day and how you going? Here's Australian, for those of you who don't know. Australian is a language that I really, really like. <laughs> and most people actually do. Today on the TAC Moto Show, we are still riding. It is October 13th, 14th, one of those two. And uh, it is still nice enough to be riding, and I promised you guys I would be out riding until the absolute very last minute. Until the white stuff starts coming down on the ground. Now I didn't put up a uh, moto vlog last week because I took a little vacation. I was uh, just enjoying, you know, enjoying life. It was a very nice weekend, very nice week. I thought it was going to be one of the last ones around, but uh, apparently it wasn't. Uh, today on the TAC Moto Show, we are going to be going over to Argyle Motorsports. I have to pick up some oil and uh, filter and a couple other things, uh, you know, whatever catches my fancy. Because I do have to make a video for you guys about the oil change and uh, what I do to get my bike ready for the winter. I haven't forgotten. I still plan on doing it. I was going to do it over this last weekend, but uh, I had uh, a little bit of a busy weekend with the Thanksgiving holidays. I don't know if it's the same in the U.S., but uh, in Canada we had our Thanksgiving here this weekend. So, so I ended up having a couple dinners, actually three dinners. Uh, I went to my girlfriend's parents' place. Uh, her and her friend were making uh, chicken peppercosh, I think they call it. It's a Hungarian chicken and pasta dish. It was very, very good. Apparently I've had it before and I don't remember. Sometimes that happens to me. And uh, then on Sunday we had our Thanksgiving dinner with her parents at her sister's house. And we then had Thanksgiving dinner at my parents' place. But uh, it was a very good weekend. It was a very busy weekend. I don't think I even cooked once. I made a couple of sandwiches, and that's about the extent of my cooking this whole weekend. And uh, obviously I didn't record a moto vlog for you guys this week. Or last week, because this week you guys are actually watching a moto vlog. The uh, Acropovic carbon exhaust is still on the uh, to-do list. For you guys as well as the power commander 5 installation which um, after doing a bit more looking once I put up the installation video of that power commander 5 I will be the only one with an installation video of a power commander 5 because nobody else appears to have done it everyone can eat shit a big bag of shit <laughs> I'm the greatest man in the world so here we are at Argyle Motorsports. We're gonna pick up our oil and our filter so we can do an oil change. Hmm. Here's a new Ducati Scrambler. All the nice Ducatis, Oof. pretty bikes, all the Beamers, Ooh, the GSS X1000, that's a pretty bike, wonder if it gets that same rattle at the S750 head. Ooh. Uh, there's an FZ07 in red. They had a black edition Jixxer 1000 here. It's very similar to this one, but completely blacked out. 
Oh, this one's pretty black as well. I was looking at that one. There's a Busa, 2015, brand new, 14.3. Gladius. So I think these are new for next year, the GSX S 1000 F and the GSX S 1000. That 1000 is definitely going to be on my uh, test drive list next year. Hmm. These beamers, let's see what else they got for Ducatis here. A few monsters. Mm hmm. The Diavels. They had a Desmo here. That's kind of a show. They sold a couple here. I think they're the same guy. That was a nice Panigale. I think I should be able to go through at least another tank of gas before I have to put the bike away for the winter. Now I like to do my winter bike prep with uh, essentially an empty tank of fuel, as empty as possible. Uh, because what, what I don't like is uh, the ethanol, and the ethanol is uh, a biological component in the fuel. And uh, anything biological starts to rot, starts to grow bacteria. And if you guys have never seen fuel that uh, has rotted, uh, it's pretty common in things like uh, like your lawn mowers and your snow blowers, stuff that gets put away for several months at a time. Uh, when the fuel goes bad, it'll turn brown in a lot of cases. And I mean like like dirty brown, not uh, not like a golden brown or and under those circumstances the uh, the gasoline doesn't like to burn very well. It's essentially become slop. Um, when you see that happen, if it's entered your fuel lines, honestly you're you're better off to unclip your fuel line and drain it out. As a bit of an addition to a video that I did earlier on in the summertime where I was looking for premium fuel that didn't have any ethanol, there was a number of suggestions. Um, one of them ended up being accurate, but accurate for a very short period of time. Uh, somebody had written in the comments section that Petro Canada, which is one of the fuel companies in Canada, um, their 94 Ultra contained no ethanol. And that was true for a time. However, I did go and double check uh, on their website recently, and sure enough, the Ultra 94 now does actually contain it. So, as far as I know, and uh, if anyone else knows otherwise for certain, not just speculation, but if you know for certain, um, let me know where else I can find uh, premium fuel without ethanol in it. Because as far as I know, only Shell V Power uh, which is 91 octane here in Canada is the only one to offer premium gas without ethanol so now saying that of course I am now on my way to Shell because I need to get some fuel for the bike looks like I'm going to go a little bit further before I get fuel because I am not going to deal with that train intersection that's sitting right there because I will be stuck there for fucking ever Hold on there, Tupac! I should have more than enough gas to get to the Shell station. The FZ07, or FZ07. Fuck. Now you guys got me all paranoid about that shit. It's pronounced Z, not Z, Z. But the FZ07 is uh, actually pretty good on fuel. I will admit that. See if I can get ahead of this bus here. After I talk about trying to save a little bit of gas, <laughs> I race past the bus. <laughs> oh, the SZ07, that's one of those things I really love about it. It's, it's one of those bikes that's fun because of the torque. For a bike of its size, 689 cc's, it does have a good, good chunk of torque. I remember reading somewhere about it. Someone had said that uh, 
the MT, because overseas it's known as an MT-07, uh, they were nicknaming it MT because of monster torque. I don't know how true that is, but it does have quite a bit of torque. I neglected to do one other thing, as I have to go to the Dodge dealership, because my truck has two recalls pending. So I'm going to go book that in. Man, getting a lot of riding in today. We're actually doing some errands. It's impressive. So, of course, the tires that I want for my truck, which, by the way, I still haven't gotten the diesel. Still looking. Um, but the tires that I want for my Ram will fit on 2500 if I do get it. Because <clears throat> they run the same 20-inch rim. Holy fuck! That was close. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the tires that I would put on my uh, 1500 also go for my 2500, so it won't really be much of a, a stretch. And I'm still waiting for a better deal on this trucks. So we'll see what happens. There's gonna be a lot of, uh, well, in my belief, because Alberta is a big oil province, there's a lot of people that are already um, losing their jobs. <laughs> there's been a lot of people actually losing their jobs here in Alberta and uh, if it comes down to it I might be able to get a Ram 2500 even a used one with very low kilometers relatively cheap and I can always swap those tires out now one thing that I don't like about this dealership as you guys may have seen from my last video my experiences with used car sales guys is either very good or extraordinarily bad now I have to go through the car sales floor to get to the service area at this dealership go good fuck yourself did you have a meeting with someone today no nope. go fuck yourself So that guy that was sitting in the front, I couldn't even make it in the door before they were all over me. Do you have an appointment? Are you here to see somebody? No, fucker. Go Leave me alone, yourself. bitch. You know, and I purposely, I try to be rude to these fuckers. Go fuck yourself. That way they get the hint that they're not wanted. Go fuck yourself. You know, and I've been driving around looking at trucks with my girlfriend. And uh, even then they like to, you know, I don't even get out of the truck. I'm just driving the truck and, you know, driving up and down the aisles and shit. And even then, those fuckers, they still have this incessant need to come up to me in the truck. And I completely ignore them. The windows are rolled up. You know, they, you know, walk by, you do that whole smile thing and all that shit. Go fuck yourself. I just ignore them. So now, now I can actually go home and chill out and take a leak because, man, I have to piss so bad right now. So anyways, guys, I'll be, uh, I'll be home here in a few minutes, so... I'll, uh, I'll cut the moto vlog here to an end. Um, this may or may not be the last one for this year because of the impending snow winter situation that we're going to get here. Go fuck yourself. Uh, if it is, have yourselves a great winter season, guys. Go fuck yourself. Uh, for those of you guys south of the equator, have yourselves a good summer season. Go fuck yourself. I'll be putting out stuff intermittently throughout the winter time as well. Uh, of course, I have the uh, Akropovic or Akropovic or however it is that you say that name. Go fuck yourself. Um, I have the exhaust video coming up for you guys. Uh, soon, hopefully, I'll be getting that over the winter time. Uh, there'll also be a video on a Power Commander 5 installation on the FZ07, which no one else has done yet. So, hopefully, that drives a lot of views to my page and we get the subscriber base growing here more and more because uh, over the last few months, guys, I've had a great time making these videos for you. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be a couple more still to go this year, but that all depends on the weather. So far, so good. It's holding, but uh, usually by the end of October, we've got snow on the ground here. Usually. But, uh, you know, cross your fingers for global warming. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Everybody else is worried about it. In Canada, we're like, bring it on, bitches. Bring it on. Palm trees are coming. Have yourselves a great weekend, guys. That's it. Tac Moto's out.